your bike's back at the rack. I would personally, with this temperature, I would have a cha another change of top. I know when I used to race a lot of Ironman races, just taking your sweaty shirt off from the bike and putting a fresh singlet or a, a vest on, it really makes you feel 100% better. I'm not saying you have to do that, but what I am trying to say, I would personally put that in the transition. If you use it or not, it doesn't matter. The worst thing you want to do, you're going, oh, I should have put that in there. It's the bit where I try to say, put what you think you may need in there. If you use it, it's great. If you don't, it's great. Okay? Do you understand what I mean? Pretty simple. All right, out of that run course, 21.1 kilometers. Who's looking forward to it? Yes! Three guys couple. All right, we on the run. It, it, you know, it's, it's going to be one thing is, and you'll hear this in the race briefing is, you do not need your race number on the bike, only on the run. So you can have it on the bike if you like, that's fine. But make sure that it's on the front of your body as you head out onto the run. And in these conditions, I'd hope to have a hat. And why do you want to have a hat? Not just to protect you from the sun, but at every aid station, scoop up some ice, put it inside that hat, grab a sponge, put it back here on your neck, keep your body temperature cool on this run course. So I would have uh, a, a sports cap, uh, some sort of hat, and, and I'd make sure to get those ice cubes at every aid station. And the aid stations are about 1.5 kilometers apart, and they've got all sorts of stuff. You'll hear about that at, um, at the race briefing at 4.30. Yes, that's exactly right. With those aid stations, exactly as we said on the bike, they 